Hi, welcome one and all. Hey, you guys. Welcome to the group. Uh, this is the uh, Facebook group for our youth group initiative, uh, hopefully. If you have any ideas or special talents or skills or feedback that you'd like to add to the group, please do so anytime you feel like it. Rose, oh, <laughs> this is a Christian rap music you're playing in the background just so nobody can be all like, oh my god, what kind of music is that? It's It, it fits. Um, Rosie told me uh, about the issues uh, going on with the church about the youth, and uh, she asked me for my help and input on it to help better things, and uh, so I created a name idea, slogans, and basically like an 11-page proposal on how to bring the youth back to the church and make church more fun for people under the age of 30, because um, everybody knows we have the attention span of next. So just to give you a quick summary of it, as quick as I can, I call this new youth group uh, the U Crew, which is an acronym for the Young, Optimistic, and Understanding Crew. Because in addition to being meaningful and attractive in substance, it also, you know, it's, it rhymes. It's short, cute, catchy, memorable, cool, and it'll uh, look really awesome on a t-shirt or a baseball cap. Um, so it's marketing soundbite gold as well as purposeful. Our crew colors could be, for example, red, white, and gold for very royal, cheerful, fun, attractive, and useful colors. Our U crew symbol could be like a bold, strong handprint made of fire, representing passion and youth, or a lion wearing a crown, representing Jesus as king of kings, or a lion made of fire, representing both the passion of youth and the passion of Christ. Uh, it's youthful and fun, and I just like fire. So I'm not a paramania. I go into more detail in the visual proposal, but to sum up what we're actually doing with the younger members of the church is focusing on five big things. There are basically five main reasons why the youth and sometimes people in general abandon ship with church and just don't go. And those reasons are from what I have, uh, you know, you know, researched and looked up and, and noticed with people and talked over with uh, friends. One, apathy. Two, fear. Three, boredom. Four, ignorance. And five, restlessness. Meaning one, apathy. They feel church is not listening to them or catering to their needs because the powers that be make them feel like their voice doesn't count. Uh, two, fear. They feel church is not accepting them or considering their common human frailties because the powers that be make them feel judged or ashamed or unwelcomed if they're not perfect. Three, boredom. They feel church is not exciting them or like it's not any fun because the powers that be keep boring them and sucking the joy out of Jesus. That's a very common reason with church and religion everywhere. <laughs> um, four, <laughs> ignore, ignorance. Uh, they feel church is not relevant to them or connecting the dots as to why they need it because the powers that be would rather just spout Bible verses instead of actually telling them exactly how and where those Bible verses relate to their lives. Uh, five is restlessness. They feel church is not leading them anywhere or like it's wasting their gifts, talents, and attendance because the powers that be don't give them any purpose to fulfill outside of themselves like helping others in some way as a group. So basically, I devised a massive marketing campaign that focuses exclusively on each of those major and common problems. And they are, the five campaigns are one, the Speak Revolution, a Raise Your Voice campaign. Two, the Restart Movement, a Jump Back In campaign. Three, the Party Circle, a Get Fired Up campaign. Four, the Connect Project, a See the Point campaign. And five, the Reach Out Program, a Save the World campaign. In order to do these campaigns justice and really rebuild youth presence at the church, I think like other churches and like all the churches I ever grew up in, this church needs to have its own youth night. Duh. For example, on Wednesday nights, that's just an example, because uh, most youth nights are on a central weekday, each Wednesday can be youth night or you or you crew night uh, as I call it and have its own theme for the week which of course will be theme of uh, the theme of one of our five campaigns for example there's four weeks in every month except for four months out of every year those four months have five weeks in them so since we have five campaigns we would basically have for example the first Wednesday of every month could be for our raise your voice campaign against youth apathy the second Wednesday of every month could be for our jump back in campaign against youth fear the third Wednesday of every month could be for our get fired up campaign against youth boredom. The fourth Wednesday of every 
month could be for our See the Point campaign against youth ignorance. The fifth Wednesday of every season of month would, uh, could be for our Save the World campaign against youth restlessness. I also organized each youth through youth night to have some form of fun, youthful entertainment in the first act of the service. To be more specific, this is an example of what we can we would promote and how we would advertise each campaign youth night. Uh, basically like this. One, join the Speak Revolution, the first Wednesday night of every month on Speak Night, and raise your voice. Shout it out. It's communication time. Invite a friend who thinks church is ignoring them. Event, fashion show, model spotlight, and art fair. This is a mission to promote hope and change that explores who you are and what you care about because you matter, you count. So you better say something. You can interview or be interviewed on this night. Either way, here you are a part of the solution. After all, a church is a home where you feel connected, not a foreign planet where you feel left out. Number two, join the restart movement. The second Wednesday night of every month or week on restart night. And jump back in. Hug it out. It's renovation time. Invite a friend who thinks church is judging them. Event? Drama show, actor spotlight, and theatrical play. This is a mission to promote love and forgiveness that explores where you're going, not where you've been, because you're never too far gone. So welcome back, no questions asked. You can testify or keep it to yourself on this night. Either way, here you are renewed and born again. After all, a church is a hospital for the needy, not a fashion show for the flawless. Number three, join the party circle. The third Wednesday night of every month on party night. And get fired up, dance it out, it's celebration time. Invite a friend who thinks church is boring them. Event, music show. Artist spotlight and concert spectacle. This is a mission to promote joy and gratitude that explores how you praise and worship God because you were born to make a joyful noise. So lift him up with your spirit, talent, and fellowship. You can participate in the event or just attend this night. Either way here, you are going to feel the spirit of life. After all, a church is a fun festivity of joyous thanks, not a boardroom meeting of mundane business as usual. Uh, four, join the Connect Project, the fourth Wednesday night of every month on Connect Night, and see the point, laugh it out, <laughs> um, literally laugh it out, um, invite a friend, oh, it's interpretation time, invite a friend who thinks church is useless to them, event, comedy show, comedian spotlight and game show. This is a mission to promote faith and understanding that explores what you believe and how it relates to you because you need to know why you need this. So find out how the Bible is relevant to your life. You can educate others or get educated on this night. Either way, here you are going to connect the dots. After all, a church is a vehicle for enlightenment, not a stick you just beat your head with repeatedly. Number five, finally, last but not least, join the Reach Out program, the fifth Wednesday night of every seasonal month on Reach Out Night, and save the world, share it out, it's contribution time, invite a friend who thinks church is wasting their gifts, event, film show, youth spotlight, and movie presentation, starring the church youth, uh, humorously documenting the personal growth and outward progress from our community service work. This is a mission to promote purpose and unity that explores what we can all do to make our world better, because we are the ones we've been waiting for. So you know how to be stand with the shared goal and common cause of actively helping out our community together as one. You can lead, follow, help, or get helped on this night. Either way, here you are making a difference in society. After all, a church is a powerful light in the world, not a meek secret that hides from the people who need it most. Just a side note reminder, there are only four fifth weeknights uh, out of every year. So we would only have to make four videos each year. One for the end of fall, one for the end of winter, and one for the end of spring, and one for the end of summer. These two seasonal youth nights would be in addition to monthly community service activities and weekly Sunday or Monday counseling sessions and youth planning meetings. Um, but in order to get all, to all that, we got to spread the word first. So I was thinking we could start this five campaign drive by launching each campaign every month for five months to give the campaign enough time to pick up momentum and reliable youth interest. Just a thought. Like, for example, we start off our first campaign by doing a film, just interviewing the youth for the Speak Revolution, asking them how they feel at church and what they feel the church could do better to reach out to them. We do this film drive while we market the campaign, and then we tell them we are going to premiere their video on our first official youth night. Everybody wants to look at themselves, so they're going to show up to see this. They want to see what they look like on TV. And then we play again at regular church service for the older people to see, so they can see the problem uh, with the youth and the need for the youth night and any progress we may have made by then. To do all this, I look at each month as a three-step process. After we get permission and tools to secure our youth nights, we follow the three-step process for each of the five campaigns. Step one, launch promo blitz, advertising that campaign. 
Step two, launch first weekly youth night with that campaign theme. Step three, launch feedback requests from the youth about that campaign, asking them what they think about it for about maybe a month. Again, to review, because we're almost done here, the five campaigns are one, the Speak Revolution, a raise your voice campaign against youth apathy. Two, the Restart Movement, a jump back in campaign against youth fear. Three, the Party Circle, a get fired up campaign against youth boredom. Four, the Connect Camp, I'm sorry, the Connect project, a see the point campaign against youth ignorance. Five, the reach out program, a save the world campaign against youth restlessness. Now in closing, a quick pitch to get their interest could be, uh, be it in a church bulletin or on a t-shirt or in a poster, bo poster board quote. Young, optimistic, and understanding. Join the crew that's into you. Party with us on Warrior Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Like us at www.facebook.com slash the you crew, or whatever, something like that. That's the general idea. The details are in the proposal. If you have any questions or ideas, please let me know. If you know anyone who you think would be interested in being a part of making all this happen, please add them to the group so we can get this party started. Thanks so much, young, optimistic, and understanding. Join the crew that's into you. Good days, babes. God is love. Peace out, homies. Keep hope alive. <laughs> oh, and there's music. It is Dum Dum. The song is called Dum Dum. Um, it's Tadashi featuring Lecrae. I love holy hip hop as well as righteous rock. You know, I like it all. I don't like much on the radio these days, although this is some classical. But anyway, just so you know, in case you really like the song. All right? Thanks. Peace out. Yo.